Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be another Costco haul. This is going to be for the month of September. If you are new around here, my name is Sarah and I am the homeschool mom of five children and they are 13, 11, seven, two and a half, and my baby is about to turn one year old. We have been back to school in our house for uh, several weeks now, so I am always looking for ingredients that make meals very protein filled and easy and simple and fast. I'm also going to be on the hunt for a few special items. We have a couple of birthdays coming up this month. My daughter is turning one. I also have my husband's birthday this week. So I'm going to be on the hunt for a few special items to make birthday meals for both of them. Okay, so I'm going to head in and let's start shopping. <laughs> I'm home. I'm finishing up my mocha freeze here and honestly the drive was a little bit of a disaster. Both cartons of eggs slid off of that diaper box. I should not have put them there and crashed open. I had broken eggs through the back end. Justin just came out with soapy water and cleaned it all up but I, I lost a dozen eggs. It was a bummer. Uh, so I'm gonna get ready to unload here. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite item is from the Costco Cafe. Do you like the hot dog, pizza, a certain type of drink? What is your go-to item when you go to Costco and you're, you're looking for a little snack? I would love to hear. Show you guys some of the extras I bought for the birthday parties. First of all, we have the spinach artichoke and parmesan dip. This is really great. We love to heat this up and serve it hot. And I bought these little non dippers to go along with it. Next, I bought two packages of this pulled pork with barbecue sauce. I will throw this in the crock pot and we will make sandwiches. Also, you guys have heard me talk about the kettle Himalayan salt chips before that we love. We use that at one of the parties. And then I just bought this huge container of animal crackers that will just be fun to serve. I think I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookie dough dip to go along with these for Ava's birthday. I also bought two packages of these brioche buns. We'll use these along with the pulled pork. And also my husband requested burgers for his birthday dinner, so we'll use some of these for that as well. I also bought another loaf of this cinnamon streusel bread. We will use this to make French toast for a birthday breakfast alongside of this turkey bacon. We've purchased this in months past. We really, really like this brand, so this will be great with French toast. Now moving on to just our normal grocery shopping. I bought two boxes of the protein yogurts. They were on sale $4 off a box this month, so I went ahead and bought two. I also bought another container of Parmigiana Reggiano. I'm planning on making some pesto and probably some pasta dishes this month, maybe some Alfredo sauce, so that'll work great for those. Sunday night is frozen pizza night in our house, so I bought some more of the Kirkland brand cheese pizzas some frozen broccoli florets that we will roast in the oven as a side dish to go along with a couple of dinners. 
some more of these chicken nuggets. They're actually called lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. These were really good. We used these last month for a lunch, and then we also used this one night for dinner and put it on top of big salads with boiled eggs, and this was really delicious. It's really good with hot sauce poured over top of the chicken, kind of making it buffalo style. And here is a package of the chicken lunch meat. The kids will use this for lunches, uh, for wraps, and for sandwiches. Speaking of salad, I picked up one of these Mediterranean crunch kits, as well as one of these sweet kale kits, and one of the large boxes of spring mix. Our garden is kind of in between lettuce seasons right now. I just planted our fall crops, so we won't have lettuce for a few more weeks, so this will hold us over until then. Continuing with the produce, here are two clam shells of raspberries, one package of their baby carrots that we'll use for lunches, a clam shell of blueberries, and one two pound clam shell of strawberries. Honestly, we will probably finish all of those berries within the week. Here is one big package of avocados. Ava in particular loves to eat these for some of her lunches and dinners. Next we have two bags of apples, one package of their celery sticks. The kids will use these for lunches and I might actually use these for one of the birthday parties with some dip maybe. You guys know that we love these little potato company potatoes. I will use these for dinner roasted in the oven. I'm actually also thinking about maybe making some potato soup this month that the celery will go along with as well. Down on the floor, we have one huge box of diapers. Thankfully, both of my babies are wearing the same size right now, so I just have to buy one box a month. This is actually the first month that we've tried the Kirkland brand. I have heard through the grapevine that they are very similar to Huggies, so we're gonna give those a whirl this time around. I also bought one large package of paper towels and toilet paper. Kirkland brand was the only brand that they had available at our Costco, so we're gonna try those out this time as well. A 20 pack of body armor. We absolutely love this. It is an alternative to Gatorade and it has coconut water in it and more natural ingredients and it is just delicious. Okay, moving around to the other side of the table. I went ahead and picked up a rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight just because I'm out of energy to cook at this point. A 12 pound bag of flour and one large bag of their sugar. Again, this month these are still on limit. You can only buy one bag of flour, one bag of sugar, that kind of thing. I am hoping to do some baking this month. I tend to be in a baking mood when it fall starts to hit. So here is one large bag of their chocolate chips and that kind of goes along with the flour and sugar. Moving on to coffee, Justin and I go through two of these big bags of coffee every month. We love their Colombian coffee, so I bought another bag of that, and then we decided to try something new. This is the Mount Comfort Coffee. I'll let you guys know what we think of that. Justin and I tried this protein powder last month, and we absolutely loved it, and it was on sale this month, so I went ahead and bought another one of these. So we put cold brew, a scoop of this, and some ice and blend it up like a frappuccino. It is delicious. It's kind of a nice balance of caffeine and sugar and protein to kind of get you through your afternoon. I would definitely recommend this if you haven't tried it. One package of applesauce pouches for my toddler and baby. I was super excited that they brought these back. This is the peanut butter chocolate mix. It has nuts and pretzels and chocolate and Reese Pieces. Oh, it is delicious. This is one of my favorite snacks. So definitely bought this for mama. A two pack of their Simply Five Hershey Syrup. We like to use this on top of ice cream or for chocolate milk or just for whatever kind of treats for the kids. I also picked up these pumpkin seeds with sea salt. Noah in particular loves pumpkin seeds, so this will be a good snack item for him. I picked up another box of these breakfast essentials. One of my children is trying to gain some weight, so they drink this every morning. I did buy one of these 30 packs of aluminum pans. They are only $6.69, and my sister-in-law and I are going to split these 15 each. We are both working on some freezer meals for the fall, so this will be really helpful for that. And since cold and flu season is upon us, I went ahead and stocked up on black elderberry. This is something I keep on hand even outside of COVID, but since we are entering flu season, I went ahead and picked up two bottles and these were on sale this month. I still had some bagels in our freezer from last month, so I only picked up two bags this time, plain and cinnamon raisin. 
I cut these in half and put them in freezer bags and freeze them for the kids and they eat these one or two days a week for breakfast. These bagels freeze really, really well. And then I have one big bag of tortillas. We use these for taco night as well as for wraps with lunch meat. And last but not least, here are those eggs that crashed in the back of the van, as I mentioned. I should have had two packages, but we ended up losing a dozen and I had to take them all out and wash them because they were covered in egg whites and egg yolks. So here are my eggs. My total today was $517.26. So Ezra and I snuck outside real quick to finish the outro on this video. So as I say on all of these Costco haul videos, I also supplement this monthly stock up trip with weekly trips to either Aldi or to our local farm stand where I will fill in with milk and produce and other things like that that we need to kind of round things out. Oh, you're gonna get down and play for a minute? All right, go ahead and go play for right, right here, okay? You may also be wondering why there isn't very much meat in this haul, and that is because I buy my meat separately. We use ButcherBox to order a large stock of meat, and we also purchase meat at some of our local meat shops here in the area, as well as in my husband's hometown. So you typically will not see me buying a lot of meat on these grocery haul videos, and that is why. Okay, well, I think that it is it for our haul today. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up and like it below. And as I said before, leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite item from the Costco Cafe is. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that red subscribe button. I make new videos every week on Fridays and I've been making these Costco haul videos every single month. So make sure you stick around. See you later. Bye-bye. 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 I say on all of Hi Elmo, that's right. So Ezra and I snuck out. You can't make that talk right now. Hold on. Trips. Bye. Just a minute.